Hello. Hello students. Good day. <laughs> so nandito na naman tayo para sa ating subject na understanding culture, society and politics. And we are now on week number 6 or uh week, module number 6, but of course, quarter 1. So, let's start. Makinig po tayong lahat para mas lalo ninyo maunawaan ang mga konsepto na i-discuss ko ngayon sa ating uh, UCSP subject. So, we are going to talk about social organizations. But before anything else, allow me to uh, introduce to you our most essential learning competency. Analyze the forms and functions of social organizations. Okay. So, here's the following objectives. Define the concept of social groups or group. Identify the characteristics and forms of social groups. Share examples of primary, secondary, in, out group or reference group and networks based on your real life situation. And compare the different social forms of social organization according to their manifest and latent functions. Okay, so let's start. But before anything else, let's have a short and a quick review. So last week, we have talked about socialization. So sabi nyo nga, uh, socialization uh, deals with interaction of people uh, within or outside your society. Agents of socializations you actually gave me before the different agents of socialization. Halimbawa na dito yung family, peers, schools, and government, religion, etc. And there are there are actually seven of them. So why agents of socialization? Because they are responsible for your personal development. Enculturation, which is also associated with socialization. So, enculturation can happen uh, either indirect or direct, uh, uh, direct contact uh, with the people whom you adopted cultures. Okay? So, actually, social uh, enculturation can be a result of socialization. Okay, so now uh, let's move on to our topic today. We are going to talk about the different forms of social groups. But before anything else, what is group? Diba? We have discussed that before. Group it can, be, uh, can, com can be composed of two or more people. And there's interaction. Okay, uh, now let's talk about the first form of social group is the primary group. Now I will. I'm going to introduce to you the meaning of primary group. Then tell me probably uh, about the examples of, of primary groups. So primary group is just a small group with members engaged in tight, private, and has lasting relationships. So just a small group. Ano ano ba yung mga small group? Okay. This group is noticeable by the care of members have. By the care of members have the care of members have for each other as well as uh, the common activities and culture they share. So mararamdaman mo daw dito sa group na to that you care for each other. The close fitting interconnected uh, group is among the most significant groups in any society as exemplified by the family. So uh, it also includes childhood friends, and long-lasting intimate relationship. So, and dito na yung mga halimbawa. One is family. Just a small group, but you feel the care, and you feel, I mean, there's a tight uh, bond among each one of, uh, among all of you. Okay? So, yun. Yun ang mga halimbawa. It can be your childhood friends. Yung halimbawa, kababata ko yan. Or best friend ko yan. So, there's an intimate relationship. Uh, if there if there's primary, mayro din tayong tinatawag na secondary group. So what is secondary? Secondary can be a small or big social group, usually formed for a short period of time, short term period. Uh, 
nabuo lang siya maybe because it's a requirement. But after that, wala na. So nabuo lang siya because you need to, to form a group. Then after that, wala na. Okay? So the members are not related to one another. Unlike in primary that you are related to one another, here in secondary group, not necessary that you uh, are related with each other and are not influenced by personal feelings. Okay? So membership is found on what a person can do for each other. So this group is commonly found in schools and at the workplace. So kung mayroon kayong mga grupo sa, sa, na nabuo sa school, that can be a that can be a secondary group para sa iyo. And if you are working, then dahil mas madalas mo silang makasama sa work, and then you form as a group na, then it can be a secondary group. The members of this group follow a particular action with a common goal. Among the members of this group are our co-workers and schoolmates. Nabanggit ulit. Okay? members uh, as class uh, workers co-workers and schoolmates yun ang madalas na member ng grupo ng secondary group or can be yung mga barkada mo sa barangay ninyo di ba so yun so another one is in group okay what is in group from the word in di ba so this group is a social group to which a person identifies with kasama ka sa grupo na yun di ba he or she may fe uh, feel loyalty and respect towards the members of this group. Nabuo yung grupo na yun, kaya you are loyal to, to your group. And because you are a part of that group, uh, you have respect for each other. Diba? This may include brotherhood or fraternity. So itong mga halimbawa ng in-group. Brotherhood or fraternity, sorority. So, ano ano bang mga halimbawa? Ano ano bang mga different fraternities in the Philippines? Ang pinaka common dito sa ating bandang Commonwealth yung tres kilion yung tao gama. Tama ba ako? Correct me, comment down below talaga Commonwealth kung kayo makakapanod nito. Tao gama ba yon yung tres kilion or iisa lang yon? I do not know about it. Basta nababasa ko lang yan at nakikita ko yan dito sa Pagpapu dito ako, dito sa street namin. Uh, and uh, good shop para sa group na yan kasi minsan nakikita ko silang nagkakaroon sila ng clean up drive. ba? So I think that group, meron silang tinatawag na loyalty sa kanilang group and they respect lahat ng mga members ng group na yan. Okay? So if you are part of that group, then in group, kasama ka doon sa group na yan. Kung may in-group kanina, there is also out-group or out-groups. So ano naman itong out-group? Out-groups are groups to which a person does not identify with. Hindi ka kasama siguro doon sa grupo na yun. He or she, may, uh, she may, may feel disliked or hated toward a member of this group. Maaring, halimbawa, I, I, a group, mayroon ako nakita ng grupo ng Tao Gama and I am not a member of it. Because maybe I have, I don't like that group. Okay? So ang tawag sa'yo can be an out group. Okay? Kasi hindi ka naman kasama sa grupo niya. These may include opponents or rivals of their group. Halimbawa, <laughs> group A and group B. So if you belong to group B, kalaban mo yung group A. Diba? So kung ikaw ay nasa B, out group ka ng group A. Diba? So yun. Another one is reference group. From the word reference. So, reference group serve as an element or component that identifies that individuals use as a standard toward the achievement of a desired behavior in making judgment about the quality of life or things. It is necessary that we become a member of a reference group. Not necessary na kasama ka sa grupo na yun. This can be a person's favorite fashion style, artist, pop idols, uh, sports team, mentor, or well-known personality we admire and want to emulate. So halimbawa, uh, paborito natin yung grupo ng uh, BTS. I, tam, tama ba ako? They are a group? <laughs> Bit ko lang. Okay. So halimbawa mayroong grupo na yan and mga group ng mga Korean pop singers or idols. 
So, we usually emulate them. Hinahangaan natin sila. So, hinahangaan natin sila. So, they are our reference group. And because hinahangaan natin sila, pwede natin ginagaya yung kanilang fashion style, yung, yung pananamit nila, yung attitude nila. So, nagiging reference group natin sila. So, that's a reference group. They became uh, uh, our reference group. Okay? Another one is networks. Network. Ano kaya to? A network is a group that includes individuals who come into casual connection but do not have enough sense of belongingness. Okay, you are a group but pero hindi naman necessary na you you belong or something that na feel mo that you are part of the group. Something like that. So, other intellectuals are assert that networks are unstratified, unstructured, and free of value organization. So, wala silang masyadong rules na sinusunod, di ba? So, saan lagi makikita itong networks? Ito yung grupo na makikita mo somewhere in Facebook, in Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and others. Okay? So, so yun. And other uh, organization, other groups or social networking. Okay? So, yun yung mga makikita natin doon. Okay? Halimbawa, sa Facebook mayroon tayong messenger or mayroong group page or Facebook page ng grupo. Di ba? So, yun ay nabuo through network. Okay? So, what are the functions of social group? Unahin natin yung primary group. So, anong function ng primary group? It plays a vital part in your socialization process. It forms the view at the social nat nature and ideals of individuals, especially in shaping the culture and personality where a person learns social norms, beliefs, morals, and values. So, yun, nagiging vital ang kanilang uh, part ng sayo bilang tao. Okay? So, another one, pag secondary group, uh, they tend to relate to others only in specific roles and for practical reasons. So, tulad niya nang sinabi ko, maramang yung grupo na yun ay nabulang because uh, magkakatrabaho kayo or magkakaklase kayo. Okay? So, practical lang. Okay? So, these groups helps in fulfilling various types of human needs. Okay? Nakakatulong naman sila. Di, hindi, ma, hindi naman necessary na close kayo sa lahat ng grupo na yan kasi workmates lang kayo or classmates lang kayo. Pero nakakatulong sila sa process ng socialization. Okay? And uh, brings about social awareness and social change. Also, this group helps fulfill various special interests in such, a, in such fields like sports, dance, music, and others. So, malaki pa rin ang naitutulong nila sa, sa kabuuan mong pagkatao. Ang in-group naman uh, may form within our secondary group like workmates, groupmates, or assembly, assembly which functions as a group of people who can connect with each other because of their a sense of identity and belongingness. Okay? So, while outgroup functions as competitor or rival group that individual is opposed to. Tulad ka ng sinabi ko kanina, between A and B, magkawal silang grupo, halimbawa. So, if you belong to group A, tapos nasa group B ka, B ka that means you are an outgroup ng A. So, your purpose is to serve as an opponent or rival. Okay? And... Reference group provides a standard of measurement. Okay. Nagiging standard mo sila. That's why you emulate and hinahangaan mo sila because they serve as your standard, as your reference. Okay. This group has a strong impact on how a person thinks and acts as it may serve as guide or a member's behavior and social norms. So, nagiging guide mo sila ng behavior. So, that is their function. Okay? Thus, networks naman functions as a social media influencer. Okay? Ang mga vlogger, it can be a network. Diba? So, they are social media influencers. 
or kung grupo naman na nabuo sa social sa network uh you are part of that group and because of that merong nagiging influencer na rin yung mga kagrupo mo sa sa Facebook, sa Twitter or or kung saan man network okay So, social networks are influential in a wide range of online platforms, lalong-lalo na ngayon, napaka-influential ng, uh, ng social media. Okay? So, used for building social relationships with other people, including sharing of political opinions, lalong-lalo na napapanahon ng politika ngayon, mabarami kang mababasa sa wall mo about different political opinions and views coming from your social f- uh, network friends okay and can even show trending societal issues or personalities so okay this okay uh, i will allow you to see our activity so if you have time and you are willing to participate you can perform this activity and you can uh, write down your answers sa comment section ng uh, video na to So, ayan. I have here slides. Pwede kaya lang kaya lang kung ayano naman bawal yata mag-send ng picture sa comment section. So para to kasi sa akin mga estudyante, pero hindi ko ito pina-perform ngayon kundi pina-perform ko ito sa klase ko. So, ayan. So ito ang gagawin nila actually. How society is organized. So dito sa mga uh, circles na yon, you will tell me how society is organized. Okay? And also you are going to answer the process questions, what are the different sociological perspective about social groups, uh, the different forms of social groups, why are these various groups formed, and how important are these groups in our society okay you can actually share your answer sa comment section uh pero pinapagawa ko ito sa aking klase okay so after that nagbibigay din ako ng quiz kaya i ask my students to check their google their google classroom uh from time to time usually i uploaded my uh activities sa google classroom every monday tapos ang submission niyan is friday or saturday kasi hindi kami nag uh, dito sa school namin wala kaming klase walang on walang online class kapag friday more on asynchronous uh, asynchronous uh, time yon na mga estudyante para naman they can be able to submit their their activities sa google class every friday or saturday okay So by the way if you have a questions you can comment also your question sa comment section ng ating video na to. So by the way thank you so much sa pakikinig and uh I am more than willing and happy to share and to help you if you have questions regarding the topic. Bye everyone.